Okay, so here's a little thing, by the way. Um, I often run into that in Xano. As I click that little plus uh -huh. to put something in my for loop, you can see that he actually put it outside of my for loop. So oh. now when I'm here, I actually don't see my variable user. I, I don't know. I think it's, I don't know if it's technically a bug or it's just not the way it kind of works. So I have to like oh, move so it you up. You just drag it into. Yeah. So if I, ooh, come on, let me, let me reload. All right, all right, let me try to do it with this ad instead. See if that works better. Um, each loop. Okay, so now it's inside the, the first loop. So now I should have access to user, which is that iteration. Um, and what I what you can do in Xano is what they call like a dot notation. So I don't want the user, I want a specific field in user. So what I can do is type um, the name of the field. Do you know what I mean? Yep. And then save that. When you do that, uh, you gotta be, you gotta pay a little attention sometime if you like type something and then make a typo or whatever, and you go ahead to like, like if you, you see, I went back and corrected it and now it won't work because now it considered text. So for it oh. now, that's just like a pure text. So you really want to make sure that first you get the object, right. And then it's mm, going to be like, okay. and then that's a good tip. Yeah. Make sure you type it. So. If it says, yeah. if you're trying to use a dot notation to go deeper into an object, if at the top it says text, it's a bad sign. Like it okay. means it's not getting it that it's a notation, a dot notation. Instead, you think it's just a string. Okay, text. so good to know. Yeah, I again, I also run into that a lot. Um, so now we are iterating through that list. I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, it would be great if it did. Um, yeah. So that should be it. And uh, we're gonna, so now, you know, before I go further, the, the next step is gonna be like compare the, the, the codes and then like return the object. But before we do that, I just wanna validate that that thing worked. So I'm gonna just um, create a temporary variable and we're gonna just return it just to see if it's properly iterating through the list of category. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna create a variable, I'm gonna call it, uh, Categories, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm gonna put it at the very top. And then in, in each iteration, I'm just gonna put all those um, codes into one big var variable that I'm gonna return just to see if it worked. Uh, um, update variable. Uh, it's not really update variable. I want um, and existing variable. see categories okay so that might not let me see if i did something wrong um yeah it's not updating variable what i want to do what i want to do is actually just add to it as an as an actual array so let me sorry for the, the little mistake here i'm going to mm -hmm. do it again i'm going to do um i'm going to do a variable but i'm this one i'm going to make an array I keep making a bunch of mistakes here. Uh, I should be able to do that and then make that an array. Here we go. That's what I meant to do. Um, categories. All right. So we have that empty array at the very beginning. And then I'm going to iterate through each other. For each other, I'm going to iterate through each of their categories. And I'm doing it as I'm doing it. I'm going to. Uh, add it to that blank category object. Um, so add to end of array. The array is going to be this one, and the value is going to be the category. Okay. All right. And then at the very end, what I'd like to do is return the variable categories that I created at the beginning, just to see if that works. So let's try it. Um, that doesn't really matter because we're not doing anything with that just yet. All right, so it sounds like it works. So now I'm getting one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, those are the code that I enter for both users. Cool. 
So it sounds like you, you know, everything I said about the difference between array and JSON array, you can almost ignore it. Like it sounds like Zano is treating it in a very similar way. So it's great, simplifies your problem. Um, awesome. 